How do you guys feel about Brotato? I've played 56.3 hours of this game. I haven't actually played it since August. I just opened it up to see if there's an easy way to reset progress. And it doesn't look like there is. So far, I've won with on whatever this is, difficulty five, danger five. I've won on danger five with one, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, I think over a third of these. Is that right? Four, eight, oh no, 12, 15. One of these is random. There are 44. All right, so I've won with over a quarter of them. But I want to figure out how to reset my progress and start fresh and start a new playthrough and gold border all of these on this channel. So that's what I'm going to do back in a second. This PC, local C, users, LTG, app data, roaming, brotato. What if we just delete that? Bam, you are deleted. Now, if we come back, hit play. Don't, no, don't synchronize with the cloud. <laughs> Quit. Right click, manage, properties, steam cloud, turn it off. Bam, rotato, shift, delete, hit play. Start. We have done it. Question mark. Let's go. We're going to play. I get to play with a controller. That's one of the reasons I like this game. Weapon selected. Well-rounded. Really? Um, we could take a question mark weapon. That seems too hard. SMG is just good. Shotgun's good. Um, Ghost Flint is fun. Ghost Flint. Wait. Okay. I thought my controller wasn't working. I feel so slow. So yeah, in this game, we are a potato. And that's it. We run around, we kill aliens because they like the taste of potatoes far too much. I don't mind taking little damage early. Um, these choices are very important. I know a little bit about the game. I've figured some stuff out. I kind of like crit more than I should. It's not very good early, but it's... Oh no, I don't have items unlocked that are good with crit. Maybe I don't like crit. All right, melee damage, max HP, minus three attack speed. So Ghost Shiv, for every 20 kills I get with it in a single round, it gives 1% attack speed. Attack speed is pretty good. This is kind of expensive, but melee damage. Um... The whole thing is re-rolls are really cheap right now, and these first couple shops are guaranteed to give two weapons. Cake's okay. Current HP is 16. This would give more. So really, I just want to re-roll and look for Ghost Scepter. Every 20 kills, this gives me one max HP. Turret's also kind of cool, but it doesn't do much. It's still kind of cool. Ghost Flint. We'll lock it. Harvesting's pretty good. Harvesting just gives you free re resources for the rest of the game. That's it. Minus one melee damage sucks, but this is plus eight materials and experience every single round, and it gains interest. It gains 5% interest every wave. So investing in harvesting, especially early, is really good. This game is surprisingly com complex for a game where you run around as a potato and auto attack enemies. I should probably combine up the ghost weapons. When you combine them up, your DPS goes down. Attack speed or reroll? I kind of want to look for harvesting or luck. I'll take attack speed. Um, yeah, so right now, my DPS would go down if I combine these. Because I'm buying one already, I'm not going to combine. 
So yeah, still two weapons right now. We'll lock this one. But, instead of taking 20 kills, now it only takes 18 kills to gain a stat. I think it's worth having two of these and hope that they'll both gain one stat. It's unlikely, but it could happen. The waves start to last longer and longer, which makes it easier to gain stats. But the Ghost Scepters need to get 40 kills to get me 2 HP. I also gain HP on level up. And from buying items or getting the level up stats. Okay, I would like a level up. There it is. So we got two level ups. Harvesting is good. Blue is good. Um, more attack speed? I'm already going to get a good amount of attack speed. Max HP? Reroll. Look for a blue one if I could find it. I'll take harvesting. We're up to 32. XP gain, I do like. I don't care too much about range. Maybe I should. Weird Ghost. If I had any kind of regen, Weird Ghost would be pretty good. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna combine. And then I'm gonna super combine. Because really, I want these two to get my kills. This one, it's for like cleanup, but I don't want that getting the majority of the kills. I could take Scar. Alright, take it. Coupon takes a while to pay for itself. Lifesteal's kind of good. It's not worth saving. Rerolls are cheap. Armor. Don't care. I don't think I care about any of these. Reroll. Don't care. Okay, next wave. Rerolls get more expensive every wave. And they also get more expensive every time you reroll, but it resets every wave. So yeah, easy game. Well-rounded is a pretty boring, but pretty strong potato. As far as potatoes go. There are a bunch of characters I haven't even played as yet. This is a tough call. So this is my level 5 level up. It's guaranteed to be all blues. Maybe you could get a purple in here? I'm not sure. But they're guaranteed to be at least all blues. Attack speed would be good. Harvesting would be good. A gray harvesting is worth 5. A gray... Attack speed is worth five. So this one, the blue, is significantly better. It's twice as good. This one, it's not twice as good. I could use a little bit of luck. This one's good. Max HP of 25. I've gained four health, three attack speed. The glasses have no downside. Even though I don't value range much, we'll take them. Ghost Scepter. I like Ghost Scepters. Also, we get an Ethereal bonus, plus 18% dodge for minus 3 armor. It's worth noting. Since I don't have lifesteal, let's take this regen, I think. Reroll. Do I want one Ghost Axe? I think I do. Pumpkin's a tough call. Because I do want piercing for these ghost scepters, but I don't currently have it. I think for 60, I'll take it. Harvesting for minus dodge. It's early enough. Do I want to lock all of this? I don't know if I can afford it all. It's worth getting. Okay. The first, well, I don't even know on Danger Zero, but normally the first, like, six waves are pretty easy. On this danger, they might all be easy. I'm not sure. Let's 
So how close I run to the enemies determines how many kills Shiv will get. The scepters cannot clear, like, large crowds. Kill 300 enemies. But the Shiv can kill large crowds. The first, like, 50 points of luck seem really good. Garden's pretty good. It just gives me food for free. Okay, 152. Harvesting's important. This is not important. I'll take the axe. One stat, three stats, three stats, six stats. The axe will steal a lot of kills from the ghost flint. The axe is mostly good for when crowds of enemies are starting to build up. It will kill them. None of this gives me survivability. Well, except that my max HP is going up slowly. Hey, we've collected 300 materials. Okay, if I kill this, I get a free item. But it's very tough to kill. We can kill it. Yeah, I need to raise the danger, which I'll be able to do after beating this first run, whatever. 20 luck. HP regen is down. Crit chance? I'll take it. Attack speed, a purple one. I'll take it. This is when I stop investing in harvesting quite as much. Lifesteal or luck. Luck's good. Shuriken. Shuriken is one that I like quite a bit. It's ranged, but it scales off of melee damage, and it bounces two times on a crit. I have been building a little bit of crit. It has innate crit chance. Yeah. 1.5 times. Plus harvesting, plus speed, plus max HP. Um... Don't know if I need piercing for this. It does say ranged. What do these say? So this says ranged. This says melee. So I do want piercing. I think? I don't know how piercing works with bounce. I'm gonna take that. Take that. This one, minus speed. 7% damage. Um. For two max HP, let's do it. Hopefully that gets me more kills with these. Oh, and if you buy up everything, then you get a free reroll. I did say that I was close to stopping with harvesting. These are nice, the hands, because they give you free harvesting. But it goes away whenever you get rid of the hands. They're still kind of a cool early game item because of that. Harvesting early has a lot of value. Why would I take Shuriken? Shuriken's good because it can kill enemies pretty well. But, it steals kills from the Ghost Scepters, the Axe, the Shiv. The things that I want to get kills right now. Shuriken's really something that I want to pivot to late game. Hungry! We have picked up 20 consumables. All of the consumables. Um, this does give crit chance, but it also gives minus range damage, and I care about range damage for my scepters. The other thing is I'm kind of splitting between melee and ranged, which is bad. But, plus six melee. If I'm gonna switch to shurikens, which I could, this is a good upgrade. This is my level 10, so it's guaranteed to be purple. I could look for better. I'm happy with that. 6% dodge, 12% damage. Let's go 12% damage. Recovery from consumables. Consumables are affected by luck. 
So there is value to this and it only costs 32. Let's take it. HP regen for minus two luck. I'll take it. Ghost axe, big ghost axe. Huh. This adds a lot of damage to my scepters. So how did this do? I don't actually want this. Recycle it. Okay. Now I could take this. So scepters are my primary focus. Good reroll. Nah. I already have one thing locked. It's wave eight. The game goes until wave 20. So we're currently in what's like the mid game. I think the late game is probably, I don't know, 14 through 20. But if you survive like 17, 18, you're probably good. Maybe not enough to kill the boss, but enough to survive it. You can either pick up materials, or if you don't pick them up, they'll get picked up and you get double materials. So for all these ones in the bag, I'll get double materials for the first 35 I pick up. Pocket Factory's a weird one. I mean, it's worth 35 to me. But it's really good on some builds, other builds not so great. With 48 luck, I think it's worth re-rolling a little to look for, yeah any of these max HP or 12% damage I'm gonna go 12% damage and hope that I just get lots of kills lumberjack shirt is kind of good just because then ghost scepters don't shoot trees as much plus it's unique so once you take it you won't see it again three max HP 3% damage one armor 3% speed for nah it's just kind of expensive and i do care about crit um armor crit engineering i do have pocket factory so engineering's a little bit good this is very expensive revolver no we're trying to get kills with these plastic explosive more piercing where I don't have piercing let's take it I'm just banking on getting piercing I think one of the two piercing items is locked currently but the other one's unlocked And if I can get piercing, that's a way for my scepters to actually get, like, good numbers of kills. I hear lots of little stat increases, so that's good. Please die in one hit and they drop turrets. The turrets don't really do enough damage to steal my kills too much. Maybe a couple. I feel like white upgrades are not worth taking at this point, but purple and blue are worth taking. Luck? Let's go big on luck. Melee damage. Um, yeah, it's purple. Buy this. That's a good amount of max HP. Reroll. This is the one that I was looking for. Minus 20% piercing damage. Piercing damage is already like minus 50%, but I took two of the things, two pumpkins. So it's better than usual. Where does this say? 
This doesn't say piercing because I don't have it. Piercing, one, minus 40% damage. Normally it would be minus 70%. So, baby elephant, 25% chance to deal 19 damage to a random enemy when you pick up a material. That's good, but it does steal kills. Hmm. I don't know if I want it. It's probably, it's good enough. Ghost Scepter, I do want this. I also kind of want that ax, but not really. Okay, wave 10. I want to combine up to a single red ax. That's the dream. Now that I have piercing, I'm trying to keep my distance a little bit more just to let the scepters get as many kills as I can. But I still need to kill some of the enemies with melee weapons. I'm super curious if Brotato will get any kind of positive response. Alongside... Oh, I should have ran in and killed that big crowd. Range damage is what I want. Armor's also okay. Crit chance is okay. Range damage. Crit chance. Dodge. Minus range. Reroll. Crown, a wave 10 crown with 74 harvesting. There's also a piggy bank. Um, piggy bank's tough, but crown's good. Harvesting increases by an additional 8% at the end of the wave. Normally it's 5%. So this over doubles the amount that it scales. Let's do it. Piggy bank is good if you have a lot of money. This is also pretty good. 5% chance to double the value of picked up materials plus 6 luck. Plus luck with no real downsides. Elemental damage sucks in this game. 10% damage. My attack speed is already going up because I have this. I've gained 18 attack speed. 7 plus 2 plus 19. This one has gained so many health. 10 plus 7. We can take this. I think I could take damage, but I already get that from the axes. Let's say that's good enough. I don't know what these circle enemies do. Maybe they get faster and faster. I think that's what they do. Like, the longer they stay alive, they speed up. Or I might be mixing them up with another enemy. Gonna let enemies build up on the screen a little bit, so I'm just staying to the outside, letting the scepters get more kills. Okay, now I'll run in. Higher level scepters would be huge. Take it. Tons of luck. More armor. More attack speed. Let's take three armor. Muscly dude. Alright. Take that. Take that. Armor engineering for max HP. Okay. Reroll for zero. Sad tomato. Sad tomato is pretty awesome. I do start with 33 damage, but 8 regen. 20 luck. Get rid of regen. 
plus dodge chance and dodges can heal. When you're doing ghost weapons, adrenaline's pretty good. These are all just good items. Okay, wave 12. And my harvesting is going up, so I'll get extra money and extra experience. Overall, just a good run. I have good economy. My stats are scaling. I don't have a ton of defense, but we have 69 HP. No longer 69. Well, yeah, 70. Okay, let's run in and get some kills. Kill two thousand enemies. Kill them all. Melee damage, luck, or reroll. Take melee. Ghost axe. Again, a tier one. Hmm. Lifesteal for harvesting. That would bring me into the positive. Armor for damage. Okay. I'll do those. So yeah, now I start at half HP. The start of the waves is the least dangerous time, but still, that takes a while to heal back up. It's a little bit questionable. Plus, it did cost materials to buy the sad tomato. And as I gain more max HP, sad tomato becomes worse and worse a bit. I wanted to say sad potato. Tomato? Potato. Alright, I should be killing that big crowd, but it's a little bit dangerous in there. I do have dodge. Dodge is a weird stat, because if you get hit a few times in a row, it can still be deadly. Like, there's a lot of RNG with dodge. Attack speed, armor, regen. I already have a good amount of attack speed. Let's look for range damage. That's kind of like range damage. 3% lifesteal. I'm about to go positive. Let's do it. If, oh, that's 162. I was going to say I could have got a free reroll. Crit chance dodge. I will take this. Wave 14. Let's go. So the goal is to beat every single potato on danger five. That's the dream. Whenever you kill the big ones, they spawn three little ones in this level. And the three little ones send out ranged shots, but they don't target the ranged shots at you. Still, if you let too many of the little ones build up, you'll just end up with tons of little red, red ranged shots all over the map. Which can be scary. doesn't currently matter. But in higher difficulties, it definitely can. More piercing. Let's go. More attack speed, more armor, more crit chance. What was it that I did with crit chance? Oh, shurikens, but I got rid of that. More range damage. Um... I think it's armor. Armor is hard to get. Laser turrets are very expensive. But I do have more piercing. Which I don't know if that affects these. 
Crit chance dodge. I wanted this. There's Tyler. I don't care. Etsy's couch. Plus max HP. Plus two regen for every permanent minus 1% speed you have. Minus speed. That could be a lot of regen. Huh. That's plus 20 regen? It does make me slow. It's very expensive, but that's a lot of regen. Huh. Could take this one. It's wave 14. I'm gonna take it. I kind of have, like, too much luck. Not that that's a problem. I'm gonna skip this just because it costs 254. Barricade. I don't like standing still. Weird ghost. Weird ghost is stupid. I want it. Weird ghost is a way to lose. No, let's not lose the first one. If it shows me weird ghost in the next shop, even though I didn't lock it, then I'll take it. That's the deal. I think Weird Ghost is one of the only things that would cause me to lose right now. Or if I just play poorly, which I'm kind of doing. Like, I'm eating a lot of shots that I don't need to. But it doesn't really matter. I have a crown. Who cares what these peasants are doing? I just care about gaining stats. Reach plus 100 HP. Hedgehog's good. Armor? Armor's good. Seven positive armor. There's my axe. Combine this. I'm tempted to sell this, but if I sell it, I lose dodge chance. I lose 6% dodge. Recycle. I just don't want it stealing kills. So really, I just want more scepters. These gain stats every 12 kills. They're going to get a lot of kills. Could get a med turret. Could get plus damage. 127. I just want to find ghost scepters. Okay, baby with a beard could do big damage. Don't need it. Mouse. Mouse gets me more kills. This is the thing that I wanted. Range, attack speed, minus life steal. Let's take the stupid ghost. Stupid ghost only becomes stupider the further I am in. Okay, 1 HP. Don't get hit. These little blobby enemies, they make the other enemies glow red, which means that they're angry, I think. I don't know. I don't know what it does. It seems to make them a little bit faster. Food is good. So I don't really want to leave the little blobby things alive. I'm seeing a lot of red. Okay, let's go through. My HP is good enough. Kill the blobby things. Because I have two red weapons, I'm gaining a lot of stats. But I do need to avoid some of this damage. God, I want more ghost scepters. Plus luck, reroll. Reroll. Lifesteal, range damage, range damage. Oh no! Plus 25% XP gain, plus 100% XP gain during the next wave. Plus 50% enemy damage during the next wave. This is another that could kill me. It shouldn't, but it could. I don't want to cap max HP. More enemies, let's do it. All of the enemies. 45. 39. 30. 
37. Zero stats gained. I just got that. Okay. 111 max HP. I'm about to level up. We get extra XP. Right, these enemies just get faster and faster. Yeah, that is what they do. Kill the blob things. Kill the little ones that shoot out the red things. The big ones will die, because they follow me closely. My melee weapons will take care of them. I have to focus down the others. My HP is not going up as quick as I would like. Wait! You have a treasure chest! I'm going to die for it. I can't get it! It's too fast! Because it has the right glow. I can't actually get it. I should have just been getting more kills. Don't care about Snake. Um, Run speed was a problem. We'll take Beanie. 20% attack speed. I already have 79 or 12 max HP. I already have 117. 12 max HP. 2% lifesteal. I already have a bunch. 30 range. Reroll. 8 melee damage. 3 armor. Armor is just straight damage reduction. It has diminishing returns, but the closer you get to 100%, the more valuable it is. So armor's just good to keep getting more and more of. These are not the ghost weapons I want. Not it. Armor's good. Range. For 84. Range. I do have negative range right now. I could take this. Okay. Okay. My harvesting's up to 163, so I get 163 free materials and experience every round. It's kind of crazy. Could take this, but eh. Leather vest. Crit chance. Crit chance is at 26%. Let's lock it. Shredder is another very good weapon. This would actually be insane right now. But it would steal kills. It's unnecessary. Wave 18. We're approaching the end. Okay, my potato feels very slow. I could use movement speed. Like, I feel very, very slow. I can't actually avoid... The crowd of enemies that's going to be rushing at me. Just like an extra 5% movement speed. Would be huge. As long as the enemies aren't building up, it doesn't matter too much. Which is why I need the one axe. Shiv kind of works, but the axe really clears big groups of enemies. I do not want that. Maybe early I would have taken it. I'll take this. I 50 for a laser turret? No. Range it. Oh, no. A wave 18 weird goat. Let's take it. Stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Minus regen? That would be a stupid time to take this, but it says 20 luck. Ghost Scepter, yes. HP from consumables? Sure. Bag would pay for itself pretty quick. Okay. Wings! I said I wanted speed. Wings have speed. And no real downsides. Minus lifesteal plus attack speed. SMG is actually the answer to winning the game right now. It would steal so many kills. Let's do it. Just because I took the stupid weird ghost. Oh, we're going into wave 19, not 18. Yeah. All right, SMG. That's gonna steal all of the kills. Don't know if I would have survived without it. 
Maybe. I might have. I'm assuming that I do survive. Luckily, since it does lots of, like, small damage, uh, there's still a good chance that Ghost Scepters will be able to get the kills. SMG is good for stealing life and for doing damage. And for applying any kind of on-hit effect, but there aren't too many of those in this game. They're slow and burn. That's pretty much it. Maybe there's other stuff. I do dodge attacks a good amount. Plus, it's plus two melee damage. Baby with a beard solves the game. Okay. Regen. Yes. So this is my level 25. I could just look for range damage, or we could just take 16% damage, or 5 regen. Let's just take 16% damage. Reroll. 20% attack speed? Sure. Wave 20 tractor for no reason. All of my stuff is green, except for elemental damage, which nothing I have uses. There's an SMG2 here. Alright. This has gained 94 max HP. That's actually crazy. This has gained 66 strength, 59 attack speed. Those are just hard to compete with. Silver Bullet is weird. It seems like plus 25% damage wouldn't do much, because plus 25% damage here wouldn't do much. But somehow, it's like multiplicative. Multiplicative. Yeah. It seems to add a lot to elites. So if I could have afforded that, I would have bought it. Just for this one fight. Because this is the last round anyways. This enemy is very easy. It will switch what it's doing like halfway through, I think. I don't know what it switches to. It just like runs around and I don't know. We'll find out. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it doesn't switch. Hmm. We're going to kill it. So that's good. Well rounded. Danger zero. We have done it. We unlocked old. We unlocked lucky. We unlocked glutton. We unlocked renegade. I like renegade. We unlocked mutant. Mutant's weird. I kind of like it. We unlocked generalist. Generalist is very strong. We unlocked apprentice. Apprentice is broken levels of strong. We unlocked king. We unlocked Farmer. Farmer can be crazy. We unlocked Doctor. Doctor's kind of boring. We unlocked Lich. Lich is pretty strong. We unlocked Loud. Loud is broken. We unlocked Potato. Potato is very expensive, but kind of good. I mean, it's all green. We unlocked One-Armed. One-Armed kicks my butt. I don't know how to play as One-Armed. I do like old. I do like Lucky. Glutton's weird. Yeah. Good stuff. Back to the main menu. Look at all these extra potatoes. So next time, we will try Danger 1. For now, that does it for this video. Thanks for watching.